Welcome back. Stock trading is easy, right? Maybe not so much. Here with us today is head trader at Raymond James, Mike Hope, to share some common mistakes and how to avoid them. Mike, welcome to the show. Thanks, Sybil. Glad to be here. So how many years have you been trading stocks? Oh gosh, it's, uh, it's been about 28 years now. Uh, started in 1993 and it's, uh, it's been a long time. Seen a lot of things. You've seen a thing or two yes. along the way. So what are some of the most common dangers you see people faced with when they're trading stocks? Yeah, I think uh, I think just the assumption that uh, the the markets are are, are pretty basic. So it uh, the markets uh, can get good, quite choppy and, and complex at times. So um, you know the main thing is just uh, is just understanding that um, you know uh, they, they are markets and and they're they're open to many uh, access points. So you need to know what you're doing. When are the markets even open? I hear people trading in the middle of the night. But that doesn't make sense. Maybe you can elaborate. Yeah. So the the North American markets, if we kind of focus specifically on Canada, um, we uh, we chop it up in in three sections. Um, you've got a a pre open uh, market which uh, goes from uh, seven a.m. Eastern to nine thirty Eastern, um, and then you've got the the market as we know today, where all the fun uh, happens, is between nine thirty and four p.m. Eastern, and then you've got a a small closing uh, post market session which goes from four ten to uh, to five p.m. Eastern. Okay, so what happens in the pre-market and the post-market? Because the average person doing their own trading is trading during the regular market hours, correct? Correct. Yeah. So the uh, the pre-market session, <clears throat> that's when uh, all the, uh, um, the the markets kind of open their access points to all the vendors uh, entering orders. Overnight orders are coming in, getting posted in the, uh, if you want to call it a, a sandbox, sandbox marketplace. Um, and uh, And that's where uh, you know, pre-market prices are established. Uh, once the pre-market uh, comes to the final head where the, uh, the actual regular market opens, uh, there is a calculated opening price and that is based on the kind of supply and demand of all the matching orders. Um, okay, so if people don't know about this, how does that impact the average investor? Sure. So um, let's just say you're, you know, you're an average investor. You place an order overnight. Um, your order goes into the marketplace. You're expecting to um, to see an opening price uh, if it is a market order um, at as soon as the market's open. And okay. So if I'm going to enter a market order, that means I'm going to accept whatever price the market opens at. Correct. So that's based on supply and demand of the buys and sells um, at that given time. And it's uh, it's called a, a calculated open, opening price. So it's a risk. You don't know. You don't know. And what right. if that price isn't acceptable to you? What can people do to avoid that risk? Yeah. So that's that's where we kind of uh, always encourage um, uh, investors to think about prices, think about limit orders, uh, as opposed to market orders. Then you kind of know where you're, you know, you're you're going to end up um, at at that market open. Uh, and and sometimes you don't get the price. At the market open, uh, your price is maybe outside of, of where that opening price uh, is. Um, okay, so you take you take the risk of maybe not buying or selling the investment as planned because your price was out of the market range. Um, so a limit order is simply when you specify a price or a price range. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if I want to buy ABC shares at and I think they're worth fifty two dollars, I may put a limit order in up to fifty three. But if it opens at 54, I won't get filled if I put a limit on it. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's a lot more moving parts to this than meets the eye. Yes. Is stock trading for everybody? Like there's people out there who are terrified of trading stocks and maybe they're thinking about short term day trading, yep. which by the way, I think is gambling. These days it is. It's a it's a roller coaster ride, uh, especially when you're uh, you're talking about the uh, the flavor of the day stocks. Okay, so that's gambling, and we're here to talk about investing, Correct. which means longer term, smarter trading activity. Who is it suitable for versus not suitable for? Yeah, so I think um, you know the the thing with trading, um, and if you, you know, just as you commented, um, you know, these days. Uh, Trading, investing—they uh, are kind of lumped into the same same uh, conversation. But uh, when it comes to investing, um, it uh, it really doesn't have to be as 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 stressful as one might think. It uh, uh, you know these days the retail investor has uh, is got such a market impact. Um, it, it is just amazing to see how many people are in the market. 
Uh, and, and maybe they don't even know that they're in the market. You know. Right. They maybe own a mutual fund or an ETF, and they don't think they own stocks. But in that mutual fund or ETF is a whole basket of stocks. Correct, yeah. And when you think about the type of stocks out there that are good investments, they're typically, you know, good companies with good earnings or good earning potential, yep. maybe pay dividends, maybe not. Um, but people don't have to do this on their own. And I think all the little nuances that are part of successful stock trading, the average person doesn't have time or knowledge to do, would you say? <clears throat> You hit that bang on, yeah. Well, that's why we've got people like you, Mike, to help keep us focused and do our trading for us. Yeah, I mean, we've been, uh, you know, we uh, we do this for a living. We know what we're doing, and uh, and so you know, uh, it's just kind of secondhand uh, for us. Well, Mike, thanks very much for being with us today. Thank you. I've had a, a great time being here. Appreciate it.